Well, doing that video about pledging varsity club in college reminds me of some other things. By the way, uh, varsity club me meetings were okay, and we did do some projects that were good for the school. And we had some uh, sports events between clubs that were fun. So, you know, there's certainly a bright side to being an, uh, a club member. But when you are carrying as heavy a load as I was, both on campus and off, you don't do much in the club. You're just there occasionally. But doing it, doing the video, helped me remember, wait a minute, that wasn't the first experience with this business of being initiated. When we went from eighth grade into high school at Milton, Kansas, we got the business really quite a bit milder in the sense that, uh, you know, that paddling, that, that got pretty dead gun painful. My old rump was pretty darn sore for quite a while after that little trip to the country. But in high school, you had to, I think, the first day of that foolishness, I think it went on for a week, you had to dress like a girl the next day, some other stupidity. And, you know, they just doing things that were kind of cute, I suppose. I don't know. But they were embarrassing to a freshman boy. Jeez. But the worst was, I think, on Wednesday or Thursday night when it ended the week. It wasn't a full week of initiation. They brought you up and they told you all sorts of tales all week long what they were going to do, and it didn't sound good at all. But you kind of knew, ah, everybody else has been through it. I can go through it, too. Incidentally, going through high school initiation maybe was a very good experience because I heard all sorts of tales, too, as I went into the service about how bad and it was going to be. I figured that, hey, it's going to be like that initiation business. It may be bad, but thousands of others have done it. Or in the case of our little school, dozens of others have done it. If they can do it, I can do it too. And when it came to the military thing, I knew thousands had done it. You can do it too. So never sweat the small details too much. But on that particular night, they had you blindfolded, took you in one at a time into this room, and they'd done the thing. You've, we've all seen it in the movies. Uh, had some spaghetti or something that was all slimed up and told you it was worms. And, uh, had other stuff that was gross. I don't even remember all the stuff they did, but it, it was routine crap. And, yeah, they had the coil. I think they said those coils came out of old Model T's. And I do remember that on the Model T truck that we had for a while, it, it had the gas lever here on the steering wheel and the spark lever over here, and I think that's where the coil got involved somehow. I don't know that much about it. But I remember my uncle liked to be going downhill and retard that spark and let that baby backfire. Well, anyway, however they rig those deals up, they also have the floor wet and make you sit on a bale of hay and take a hold of the wires. In those days, the bales were tied not with twine, but with wire. And man, when they crank that thing up and hook it over there, woo-hoo, it'd lift your ears a little bit. But again, nobody really hurt. Now, unfortunately, I'm aware that, and I, I guess most people my age are aware, that there were cases where things went haywire and people were seriously hurt. In fact, I think even one fatality on this business of trying to rig up shocks and doing something wrong. But the one thing that I did get out of high school initiation and varsity pledging was that in the schools where I was a principal or a superintendent, we're going to do our darndest to do away with that kind of foolishness. Because that's what it seemed to me to be foolishness, and I never was for it as a recipient, and I sure wasn't going to be for it as a school figure, allowing it to happen to other kids. And, you know, a lot of people didn't like that. You know, traditions, traditions, traditions. Well, some traditions are best ended.